Next. Luscious, will you join me? Yes, Miss Millie. Yeah. I like it here, Baba. Let's stay. Shall I take his temperature? We don't use those old mercury thermometers anymore, Luscious. This is the new single patient disposable neck stem thermometer. The good news is there's no shakedown time, but it works just like the old thermometers. You still wait for one minute under the tongue and three minutes under the arm. The only difference is how you read the temperature because the next temp is a color change dot matrix thermometer. Be sure to hold the thermometer at the handle end where you see the next temp name. Don't touch the grid end that will be going into the patient's mouth. Let me explain it again. Once you've placed the grid end of the next temp thermometer in the patient's mouth as far back as possible in one of the two heat pockets, the rows of green dots will start to turn black to indicate the patient's temperature. The numbers on the thermometer are the value of the dot right next to it, going up a half degree at a time towards the right. Starting from 35.5, it goes up to 35.6, 35.7, 35.8, 35.9. The next row starts with 36.0. Don't be confused and start counting at 36.1, even though this is a new row of numbers. This new row starts at 36.0 then goes to 36.1, 36.2, 36.3, and 36.4. After that, the next row starts at 36.5, and this pattern of the temperature going up at 0.1 degree at a time repeats itself all through the rows. The black dot with the highest number on the grid represents the patient's actual temperature. This temperature is 36.4 degrees. This temperature is 37.0 degrees. This temperature is 38.9 degrees. Mm -hmm. When you are ready to take the patient's temperature, ask the patient to open their mouth. Make sure the green dots face upwards and are in contact with the underside of the tongue. Ask the patient to close their mouth, breathe through their nose and press down on the thermometer with their tongue for at least 60 seconds. So be ready to read and record the patient's temperature while you are waiting for the 60 to 90 seconds to go by. Remove the thermometer from the patient's mouth and immediately read and record the indicated temperature. By using the next temp thermometer, we reduce the risk of cross-infection and reinfection that often occurs with other thermometers. Remember, the next temp thermometer is super accurate and has no shakedown time, which is good news for all of us. See, Luscious, together we can make it better. <laughs>